Welcome to the 10th section of our zodiac circle. That means that it is Capricorn birthday. Happy birthday to all Capricorns out there. Thank you for joining me for our 10th section of the zodiac circle. This diamond painting is a canvas by Spell Queen. You can see the affiliated link to Spell Queen in the description box if you're interested. However, today's video, as I say, is all about our Capricorn babies. So Capricorn, I have been finding out all about you and usually we say that Capricorn is depicted by the goat. Well, actually, it's a sea goat that represents Capricorn and that is due to Greek mythology. Now, in Greek mythology, Typhon endeavoured to attack Pan before he took his rightful place in the sky. And as a reward for defeating the Titans, he was to take his place in the sky. So to escape, he dove into the Nile and changed into a goat. But as his waist was beneath the waves, half of him became fish. Hence why Capricorn is a sea goat. And in the constellations in the sky, Capricorn can be found amongst many other water constellations, even though Capricorn is an earth sign. So there you have it. It's not just a goat, it's a sea goat. So in this section, you can actually see the goat that we're busy diamond painting. We've got the goat with the two horns and the fish tail here to show the sea goat in the sky. And actually Capricorn, the name means big horns. Great horns of the Capricorn, which is what I'm working on right now. The horns here. So in this video, we're going to find out all about Capricorn, their personality traits, hobbies, gift ideas, crystals, all sorts of different information. I always say that we're always made up of lots of different planetary aspects in our birth chart. And if you've not had your birth chart done, there are plenty of free resources on the internet to be able to see what signs are within your birth chart. And the main ones to look for are your sun or star sign, your rising sign and your moon sign. So as an earth sign, Capricorns are very steady, dependable, reliable, rock solid, if you imagine being grounded, that is Capricorn. The mountain goat likes to climb higher and higher, especially when it comes to career and ambition. However, it's not done lightly. It is planned meticulously. There's nothing a Capricorn likes more than planning, rehearsing, and then executing a, that plan to get ahead to, and, that, and that's not get ahead as in a ruthless go-getter, although sometimes that can be misconstrued for Capricorn in their demeanor that it can be misconstrued that they are stern go-getters. They Capricorns just like to plan ahead. However, Capricorn plans are not airy-fairy. They are grounded plans. 
they will execute that plan. They won't just dream of a dream and then let it flitter away. No, they will meticulously put things in place to be able to execute the plan to perfection. Capricorn are a cardinal star sign, which means that they are natural leaders. They will gather resources around them to be able to put their plan into full force. Great leadership qualities. Their plans won't be whimsical, they will be practical. Sure-footed, one step at a time, one foot in front of another until the goal is reached. If you imagine a mountain goat, you know, you see those pictures, don't you, of those goats hanging onto a mountainside, clambering up with ease, and people wonder how on earth they don't fall off the mountainside. And that is Capricorn in their plans and endeavours for ambition, getting ahead in business. The steps that they take will have been planned out to perfection and that's not necessarily only in career but life in general. They have an idea, they plan, organise, set their life up to fit within that plan. They are just born with this want of practicality and planning to be able to achieve their life's goals. In a very sure-footed way. Very calm demeanor. Capricorns are a thought to be innately wise, an old soul. You know that saying, they've been here before. And sometimes people think even babies, even Capricorn babies can look as if they're planning their day ahead. <laughs> Having that old soul living within them innately wise. In fact, it can be said that Capricorn can be very serious and they can be very serious when they're younger. However, as they get older, they let some things go and Basically, it's a bit like age reversal. <laughs> Whereas many of us get more serious as we age, it's the reverse with Capricorn. They let things go and become a little bit freer. So their whole demeanor gets more youthful as they get older. A great sense of humour. So because of that drive for achieving the plans that Capricorn put in place, they can come across as quite intimidating, quite serious. However, they can come across as larger than life characters with a really held together deme demeanour. which can look a little stern, a little bit too serious. 
and intimidating to others. But Capricorns always are seeking self-worth. So it's not that they're very, very serious. They just have a controlled demeanor. They hold themselves together. They believe that trust needs to be earned. So they don't give lightly of that. You've got to prove you're trustworthy for a Capricorn to open up and put their faith in that. And as I say, as a Capricorn ages, their fun side will start to emerge, that twinkle in the eye. <laughs> and once you've gained the trust of a Capricorn, that's it. They will trust you unless you prove otherwise. And if you prove yourself untrustworthy, Capricorns quite easily can cut you off. Capricorns have very high moral values and they seek that in others. Capricorns have very high morals and they will seek that in others. They are very honourable. Loyal, steadfast, grounded. Grounded, consistent, and that brings a lot of respect for our Capricorn friends, which they do need. They need to have that respect from others. They strive for that. Again, going back to that seeking their own self-worth, that will help finding the odd H symbol. Because the canvas is a circle, I'm having to turn each section. So this section is actually, the symbols are pointing from right to left rather than straight in front of me. So it can make it quite difficult to see the symbols. If you've not seen one of the zodiac sections before, please do check out the playlist. We are working through the zodiac circle. So this is the 10th section that we are completing today. The others are in a dedicated playlist on the channel. So please do check those out. As I say, we all have different planetary aspects in our chart. So you may want to have a look at those too to get an overall picture. And I complete the diamond painting. However, as I'm talking, I'm completing the character, the symbol, and all of the detail in the section, but then I speed up the video to complete the background whilst we talk about different things to do with Capricorn this time. And going back to our sea goat, it's um, the earth sign part of the goat is this steadfast, ambitious, wanting to plan out life and execute those plans. And then we have the water half of the sea goat with the deep emotional side. Those emotions may not show readily in the Capricorn until trust is gained, earned.
but the emotions are definitely there and they are very deep. So Capricorns do not wear their emotions on their sleeve, but they will open up eventually and let their emotions be known, probably when they feel safe to do so. Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn and that means sometimes Capricorns could struggle with the limits versus opportunities. There are loads of opportunities out there in the world and if Capricorn can balance their opportunities and their limits then the world really is their oyster. That mountain top that they can climb will get nearer and nearer. Again, thinking of that mountain goat climbing higher and higher, their ambitions reached, achieved, self-worth put in place, which is what Capricorns are striving for. mastering that balance. However, if they do reach that mountain top, Capricorns won't stay there. They will want to reach another mountain. There ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> I very nearly burst into song there, Capricorn. You'll be relieved that I didn't, believe you me. <laughs> so as I said, Capricorns can come across as being very serious when they're younger. So what would a Capricorn child be like? Do you have a Capricorn child? Were you a Capricorn child? Well, Capricorn child loves chores. Again, going back to that planning mindset, planning chores out, executing the plan. So they love the praise that they get from completing these chores around the home, at school. Loving being able to get those done and then receiving reward. And that is probably a verbal reward, not necessarily materialistic. Having that parental praise at a job well done. And then that goes towards their striving for self-worth And they've also then completed their task that was set for that day. Win-win. Clean house, happy child, happy parents. Can't complain at that. The Cap Capricorn child likes to have order and routine. They like to create order and will organise things in their own way. So if you have a Capricorn child, then let them organise their own personal space. They will really enjoy that. Let them have a lot of space to themselves. to be able to get all of their planning done. Some quiet personal space where they can get away create some order in their lives. 
and create their own comfort around themselves. You may need to remind your Capricorn child to play sometimes and to socialise. Maybe set up some opportunities for them to meet some friends and have some fun. So how would you recognise a Capricorn in a crowd? Well, as I said earlier, they can look quite stern. They can be quite focused. However, if you take the time to look closely, you may well see that twinkle in their eye, especially if they are a little bit older. <laughs> Watch out for that twinkle. They can have an absolutely wicked sense of humour underneath their stern demeanour, which isn't actually stern, it's just very, very focused. You may well feel a little bit intimidated. In the presence of a Capricorn, try to put that aside and I think you may well be surprised. With the Capricorn, their body shape can either be very thin, almost gaunt, and oppositely, they can have, be very thick, solidly built. So it might be quite difficult to spot a Capricorn in their body shape. However, it's probably more likely that you'll be able to spot that focused stare, Is stare, no, not stare, they're focused, um, all I can say is they're focused demeanour and hopefully you'll know what I mean by that because it's not a stare, like they'll stare you out and that would be very, very intimidating but yeah, if you think of somebody with their eye on the prize that sort of demeanour about them. But with the capacity to laugh easily <laughs> and surprise you with a little bit of unsuspecting humour. <laughs> which is all the sweeter for not being expected. So we're just finishing off the goat here, the sea goat, I should say. See the tail there curled up. <laughs> I imagine that you'll be able to see this a lot clearer than I can at the moment. The closer you are to a diamond painting, the harder it is to see the detail. And this canvas by Spell Queen is a 50 by 50. It is great for what I'm doing here. However, if you are thinking of purchasing one to display, you may want to go bigger than this one. I know that they do an 80 by 80, which actually does include ABs as well, which I think would be absolutely stunning in this diamond painting. So that's what I would recommend if you're wanting to 
complete this design. A pop of pink now to hopefully get some more of the details in. And your birthstones. On this section here, you can see here, we have a birthstone there. And if you are a December Capricorn, you will be blue topaz. However, if you are a January Capricorn, you are a garnet. And the garnet is a red stone, and that is what is depicted here. Of course, as a Capricorn, you can have either colour. If you are a December Capricorn and you prefer garnet, then by all means, wear garnet. They do have their own associations with healing and what they represent. So I would encourage you to look that up on the internet if you're interested in crystal healing. So let's get that beautiful garnet. Look at this wonderful colour, red. The most common of garnet colours is red, but they do come in other colours too. Your healing crystals for a Capricorn are Amethyst, which is a purple stone. Agate, which can come in all different sort of colours. They are more earthy tones, usually. Cat's eye, which are like stones with a gleam in them. Um, and it's usually like a line of light within the stone. That is a cat's eye. A quartz, which can be a clear or opaque stone. Again, in other colours. Ruby and turquoise. So a really lovely selection. So completing our sea goat with these number two symbol. We just have one of these aqua colours. And I can see I've missed a pink number seven. Right. I will now speed up the video, get some of the background in and come back to you because we still need to talk about careers, hobbies, gifts for Capricorn. So do keep watching, enjoy the speed up part and I'll see you at the other end of that. Capricorn friends we've got a lot of the background in now I've just left a lot of this plum area to complete while we talk more about you <laughs> so let's go back to career choices for our lovely Capricorn friends well as we said very very ambitious head down works hard works to a plan likes to achieve. So thinking about career, anything that can involve leadership, you love leadership, it is a natural instinct for you being in a cardinal earth sign. So you like to lead. So working on assignments, perhaps in research, where you're collating data, researching, analyzing, mechanics, all of those sorts of things are very good choices for a Capricorn. Being analytical.
being able to work things out, plan through. Also, what drives you? Um, you are driven by a challenge. You enjoy the opportunity. So you also may like a banking career. Looking at figures, accounting. Also legal work, finding out about the legalities, perhaps being a judge, making sure that people are treated fairly and analyzing the legal terms required to pass judgment. leading people, being a manager, and that can be a manager in anything. In fact, you prefer to work in smaller groups than large groups. And this may lead you to being an entrepreneur. You may want to work alone and be able to plan and execute your own work without having to be involved with other people. You may want to work on your own ideas in business. And that could also lead into your hobbies. Your hobbies may also include researching, perhaps history or archeology, span studying, and planning. In fact, going back to career, it could also be planning department in a council. Perhaps you like to look at maps as a hobby. Martial arts as well, something that you need to research and then execute. as well, of course, as mountaineering, climbing mountains in your hobby as well. May well come naturally to you. That's going back to like the little mountain goat, doesn't, isn't it? Being able to hang on to that mountainside and have people in awe about how you do it. Perhaps that's what you enjoy too. the sheer achievement of getting to the top of that mountain, standing with your flag at the top, having that pride of achievement. So going on to pets, with pets, you would like an animal that you could train. So intelligent dogs that you can give instruction to. Perhaps you like to do sheep herding in your spare time and you like the sheep dog, which will respond to whistles and cries. like doing sheepdog trials. Just need to fill in these final ones while we talk about gift ideas for a Capricorn. Practical, practical, practical. Preferably handmade. So perhaps you have vegetables in the garden and you make a beautiful rustic meal for your Capricorn. That would be very much appreciated. Homegrown produce. Perhaps give a vegetable box to your Capricorn. Flowers, vegetables, anything rustic, handmade and practical. 
And with that, we have now finished our Capricorn segment. Let's get a further away view and we'll talk through what's included in the segment. So dear Capricorns, here is your completed segment with that sea goat depicted here with the twisted tail. And then you can see the legs, the hooves tucked underneath as if he's leaping through the sky. And of course, those two big horns, great horns, as Capricorn the word means. We then have your star sign symbol here in the sky also. We come down to your flower aspect, which is actually carnation, but I'm not sure if that is what's depicted in the segment, as it looks more fern-like to me. Coming down to your birthstone, the garnet is depicted here, and then finished off to the point of the segment, being earth for your earth sign. I really do hope that you've enjoyed hearing all about Capricorns during this video. I do hope you'll join me next time. And in the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.